If we don't act against antibiotic resistance now, people will die of common infections like they did in the Dark Ages. So 10 years ago, it was rather a rare occurrence, but now every week we have patients where we find multi-resistant bacteria in nearly all wards of the hospital. We have to resort to amputations and uh, disfiguring surgery to try and cure the infections. It's resulted in uh, many patients losing their limbs and their life because we don't have uh, last-line drugs to treat them with. It is a global problem. I mean, the things that happen here uh, will also happen in Norway eventually, you know, or everywhere in the world. You know, uh, these bacteria, they, they travel with people all around the world. Um, so it's, it will be a, a global problem in the end. The project that we have been working on in Malawi and Mozambique is called the Antibiotic Resistance and Conservancy Project in Africa. It trains people and undertakes research in antibiotic resistance so that we can reduce the threat of antibiotic resistance in these developing countries. We try to find out which antibiotics are working for the patient, meaning which antibiotic can kill the bacteria which the patient is suffering from. So it's changed the way we work. Before we just treated patients empirically, now we're treating them according to the resistance pattern. This laboratory undertakes surveillance on antibiotic resistance in human health for the moment, but will extend to animal health and the environment soon. Malawi has only a few key antibiotics available, so those are used for nearly everything. Uh, and often uh, the treatment is uh, intermittent and on-off because of lack of drugs. So you might treat uh, something you would treat for several weeks at home, might get treated for five days here. Uh, and uh, when you do that, the bad bacteria survive and uh, you get uh, development of resistance. So this is the guideline that we, we developed as a team in this hospital most specifically to guide us in the administration of antibiotics. Well, a program like this is incredibly important because it brings focus on the problem at heart. It also is documenting the situation here. I mean, we can guess as much as we like and we all know that it's a problem, but until you document the actual problem, it's difficult to bring you know, the people in power onto the field and get them to do something about it. Mm -hmm.